What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I find myself over at Sheldon's house and we are about to hook up the GoPro to this Evo and he's going to take it around the block, make sure it's running pretty good and he might take it over to Mexico but I doubt it because it's a customer's car and definitely don't want to do that. But either way, um, this car was having a lot of problems and one of the problems that it was having was an electrical issue so he went ahead and he took the dash pretty much apart he took a bunch let me see let me show you guys he took like this whole area off he's got a radio that he has to wire in but right under there there was a ton i'm talking about a ton of uh of wires they were all tangled up and it was pretty bad it wasn't like it wasn't like somebody like just put a bunch of wires on there it was like they put the wires and they mix them they went this way that way and all kinds of ways this car does have a wrap that somebody did I already showed you guys the engine, I believe, in the other video. And also, it was having problems. Oh, this side is locked. It was having problems with the gauges. So, none of the gauges had power. And now, whenever you turn the key, I believe that these gauges will turn on it was nothing but electrical issues with this vehicle um, it was also having problems with the headlights the headlights were not coming on and the dimmer inside was also uh, acting up so every time you would try to like uh, was it when you would dim it that it wouldn't dim or it wasn't turning on at all uh, alright so it wasn't turning on at all so he was able to test it out with one of his buddy's uh, dimmers and yeah that solved the problem. <laughs> Customers picking up the car today so this car is going to be leaving for a little bit but it might come back. What is it that you're going to be doing to it later on? Uh, he got a house like he used, so he got a big plug and play harness for it. And then once you make that, then he'll bring it back. Damn, plug and play harness with an ECU. So this car is going to be running on Haltech also itself. So while I was editing a little clip on my phone, Sheldon already pulled the plugs on this, the coils, and he swapped them out. Where's the old coil? This coil on this side, it was held by like a string or something. It was like tied. So these are the old, the old coils right here. Hi Chippy. He did this pretty quick, not gonna lie. 
guys already know, that's what a professional does. He just flies right through, through all this stuff. Today's the day after, we're back at my house and I went ahead and I rented a carpet washing machine. They came with the hoses and everything. And I kind of want to wash the whole interior of this Civic. You guys can see how filthy it is, the seats, everything. Look at that in the middle right there. Right here too. So I want to go ahead and just clean this out, detail it. Because if you guys remember when I put this Civic together a while back, I told you guys that this would only be probably temporary, that I was planning on getting rid of this vehicle. So the time has come to put the front bumper back on. That's what the new owner is going to want. I got to knock that light bar off. And it's going to be time to detail this car and maybe send it off to its new uh, owner. But I did get a new, not new, new to me, but not new, new vehicle. So you guys can see. This is what I'm going to be riding in now. My new daily. And I did get a bunch of uh, things right here that I'm going to be doing to it. I also want to wash the carpet and everything inside of this. It's not filthy or anything, but just get it ready for when I do throw the family in into the vehicle. Let me unlock this. When I do throw the family into the vehicle, it's nice and clean. At least disinfect it. Either way, let's just go ahead and throw you in a little tripod and start scrubbing these, these carpets. I'm gonna show you guys really quick before we do that, all the stuff that I got that I'm gonna be using to scrub this with. These are all Dollar Tree chemicals that I got. And I'm hoping that this will work to get this carpet nice and clean. I also got this stuff right here. So I'll go ahead and hit the carpets with that and then hit it with the machine. I got some gloves. And we'll go from there. I just went ahead and I hit everything with the vacuum. You guys can see that it is a little bit filthy right here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the van. That way the van could be drying while, the, while I'm uh, cleaning the car out. And then I'll be able to drive the van while the car dries. count so it was low on radiator fluid so I went ahead I put the funnel and I'm trying to burp the system out right now um, power steering fluid is low I got to pick some up and then I noticed that there was a crack right here and this clamp right here was missing so I went ahead and I got that one I taped this for now until I could find one of these pieces and uh, you guys seen how bad the filter was. So now the only thing left is to uh, get an oil filter and some oil. But I don't think I'm going to have time to do that today. I got to knock out the carpet in this Civic. But we're going to let this get up to temperature and see what happens with this. So while the van gets up to temperature, I'm going to go ahead and swap out the cabin air filter. 
that I got right here. And we're gonna go ahead and see how bad the one that's in there is. So I took the glove box off and the cabin air filter should be right here. Oh my God. Look at this. This is really bad. Here is the new one. You guys can see how bad that is. So I got the van pretty much buttoned up. I got all the baby stuff. Moved a lot of my stuff over here. Threw a cooler in the back. And this guy. And I gotta start on the other Civic. I gotta clean the carpets out on this because they are super filthy. I don't think I'm gonna record this. But this car really needs to clean. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so I think I'll continue this video maybe possibly on a different day but I'm not sure yet. We'll see if anything picks up. We're over at Sheldon's right now. Um, he's got a customer that brought in his car and it's got a little bit of a weird idle but it looks like it's tuned for the wrong injectors it's tuned for like 2200s and the ones that are in there are like 15 or 1600 something like that it's pretty nice Hello. that's the man right there that owns it So we had a vacuum leak. Sheldon found it already. Yeah, from right here. This was not plugged in. This shit right here. That's what that's what happens when you buy Evo second hand. <laughs> your lesson, kids. <laughs> Today's the day after. We're back at my place. Um, I definitely have been enjoying the new uh, family vehicle. And I think we're gonna go ahead and in my next video, we're gonna be demodding the Mad Max. We're gonna take off the light bar. We're gonna put the bumper back on there. We might have to trim it because I know that the bumper is gonna be really tight right here. So I might have to trim a little chunk off right there. We're gonna put the hubcaps back. The interior is nice and clean now, so you guys can see, it's already dry. I still gotta wipe the dash, get all my stuff out, and pretty much get this car ready for its new owner. But, I think that will be on a different video, uh, I think that will be on a different video, and, yeah. Oh, I do have a huge disaster in the back over here. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Huge disaster. Yes, I've been grabbing stuff and just tossing it. Grabbing and tossing. 
I don't know why I've been doing that, but I think it's time to clean this whole mess up. Really don't look forward to doing all that, but I have to. Look over here, the same thing. It's just a disaster. But either way, this is gonna pretty much wrap it up and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out. Peace Stay out. Safe. Stay catch safe. You Catch you guys on the next one. Later.